Hello everyone, my name is Garrett and I'd like to show you something I've been working on for the past uh, couple weeks now. Uh, this kind of comes off of the video I posted a couple little while ago uh, showcasing an inventory and crafting system I've built. It always kind of serves the purpose of uh, working in a project together uh, as I'm a huge fan of survival games. So this is kind of the project I've been working in. It's where the those systems live. And it's, got, it's gone through a lot of iterations but uh, I'd like to show you where how it all sits right now. So, uh, of course, this is all in the Unreal Engine. Uh, so we just jump out and play. Uh, not a whole, obviously, it's in a very alpha stage, a very kind of testing ground stage. But um, I like to show off the, the things I do have. So as you can actually, this, I might as well explain. So at first, you'll see a bunch of trigger volumes and kind of just placed actors that don't actually seem to exist. Uh, what I have currently is that it spawns those or sets the models uh, at begin of runtime, which can be a bit inefficient, but allows the systems to be extensible to a pretty good degree. Um, so if you just look, take a look, so we have a cursor that's just uh, helps kind of display how, where you can interact with things. So we have an array of items right now, which if you look at these, so we've got the first one, uh, you'll notice that it has a little bit of a pickup message. And another interesting thing to point out is that it doesn't just show up by being in range, you have to physically look at it. Uh, so you can press E to pick it up. Uh, we can look at this one, pick this up as well, and let's say we want to pick up a cool sword, we can grab that. We press I, it'll open up the inventory, and something you need to note is that when we activate the inventory, it almost as if like enables a UI mode. As you see, my mouse currently controls the camera, but when I press I, my cursor appears, I no longer control the camera, this is kind of a UI state. Uh, a game similar, does this in a similar way as Seven Days to Die. Also kind of functions this way. If you look at the inventory, we have 111. Uh, if you hover our cursor over it, we actually get a little bit of an info box. That gives us the type of item it is. So resource, for example. Uh, the rarity, for this one common. The name and the brief description. And so let's say we move this up down here. We have oak logs, split logs from an oak tree, a refined bar of copper ore, and our kind of fancy copper short sword, which is an uncommon weapon. And as you can tell, it actually changes colors. Uh, I'll give a bit more of an in-depth breakdown of this in a future video, but it's you know, extensible so I can modify how the items appear individually. As you can tell, it's not fully refined because the text currently appears off screen. I'm hoping to have it auto set itself, but that's a future goal. So we can pick up more and more. Let's say we pick up this one, this one, this one. So we have a whole bunch of items. It actually auto, it went through the inventory and detected if you already had it and just fills up. So now we have two of two, which is great. We have a good amount of resources now. Uh, you can play around with the inventory a little bit by moving things around. So yeah, no basic, basic functionality, but it, it's there. Uh, what's nice as well is that you can actually drop it. So if you look down, it's there now and you'll notice that if I hover over it the message thing is a bit broken uh, it's currently a bug I need to look into but we can drop all of it they all stack so if for those fans of RuneScape you'll notice this does look very similar to how RuneScape handled it so we can go up and we can interact with it all again and what's nice to know about it is that it does retain the quantity that you dropped so we still have the exact same amount we picked up in the first time so that's kind of a brief overview of the interaction and pickup system we do have a little. Bit, we do have a crafting system implemented. Uh, currently, we have three stations, but the, the stove currently isn't functioning. As you can tell, obviously the models are well are all all the models are default. They are all very much a prototype. So let's start with the forge. You'll notice actually before, and I'll show this off quickly. The items uh, oh, it's broken, but the item previously said press E to pick up. These say press E to use. The interaction system detects which type of thing you're looking at and will give you a new message and it's fully extensible you can make it so anything can be changed so we'll walk up press e this is our kind of crafting window the ui is fully you know prototype so it's not exactly in a final state we get a basic kind of setup we have our name the icon of the crafting recipe the name of the, the crafting station uh, all the required items to craft it this is going to be a cell value this will be applicable later on when you're doing shop systems and this will be a list of uh, crafting recipes. And so right now, we have copper ore. 
We know for a fact we have copper ore right here. So we're gonna open that up. We're gonna click craft. This goes down to zero saying we don't because we don't have it anymore. And if we check inventory, we have two now and no more copper ore. So that's cool. Ooh, getting a little bit of lag. Um, hopefully that doesn't get too bad. So let's do the anvil. You'll notice that we have a bunch of recipes here. Not all of them are set up yet. Right now, currently only the copper short sword is uh, able to be crafted. But if you look down, we have two out of one and zero out of one. Let's check. We don't currently have any logs. We have plenty of copper bars though. So let's go grab those logs that we left. All right, so we have a copper short sword. We have two of two of each. Let's click craft, go down to one. Let's craft another one, zero. We have four short swords now. So it's, I think it's pretty cool. It's 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 on its way. It's there's a lot to be done, a lot of cleanup to be done, but it's getting there. Um, and there's a few more things I'd like to show of what kind what's kind of in the in the pot right now. Um, I'm trying to get over this lag, but uh, it seems like the engine I've noticed in 4.18 is a bit of a lag going on. It seems like the engine loses focus quite a lot, but I will get past that. Another thing I have is that we have interactable doors. Again, a very simple system. However, it's, it adds to the pile. So as you can tell, it says press E to open. It opens up. A dark room. We can close it. Open it again. So a little bit of kind of first person interaction. Uh, quite simple. Good start. And lastly, uh, I have a bit of AI. So we have currently two types of AI. We have standing AI that kind of just stands and faces whatever you tell it to. And secondly, we have a patrolling AI to where each time he reaches a point, he'll turn to face the direction of our choosing. So each time he stops, he'll be, you can direct him however you wish. And if you wish to interact with him, if I can chase him down, all he says is functionality and development. I used to have a dialogue system here. I had a full implemented dialogue system. However, due to perspective change, I decided to strip all the dialogue functionality and then leave the AI in a base state. So that's how you see them now. And that, that's kind of an overview of the project so far. Again, there's a lot of mechanics, a lot of kind of things here and there. Some are simple, some are a bit more in depth, but it all is kind of culminating in a project I like to show off eventually. I like to get better art assets. Uh, it's really just a thing I like to do on the side. Um, so feel free to leave me suggestions of things you'd like. Uh, currently, what I like to implement next is the ability to, as you saw with the swords, actually be able to drag it onto a toolbar. And that allows us to be able to kind of toggle between uh, tools and objects and things that we can use to interact with the world further, like attacking enemies or uh, harvesting resources, things like that. Uh, so there's plenty to go, but feel free to leave suggestions if you like. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions you have, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.